to Lee Lanes, Bob Lee for the Bowling Nerd Network and Spread Eagle Productions. We're going to be showing you the uh, Fenway Academy versus the Dummies match. This is actually a critical match for the standings. We're going to stick right with it all the way up. They're four points out of second place, which would be needed for the bye. We have two games left. The record is 62 and 28. And uh, ahead of them is Price's Wood Flooring. Both teams went four and two in, in the morning action at nine o'clock. And Price's is at 64. So Fenway is really is looking for us is looking for a sweep. First two bowlers, uh, first two teams get a first round bye. And we'll have the rest of the day off after these three matches are done today. And before we started our stream, Jason Doucette bowling in the leadoff spot for Fenway put up an 18. Right now we have Jimbo Ayat. Looking at three pins with his third ball in the set in the first. That's a seven. So the dummies put up an 11 each time, and uh, we'll be adding the, the uh, graphics. I'm going to be spelling Paul Grant. I'll be spelling Paul Grant on the play-by-play -play while he rests his voice to get ready for the uh, final match and the playoffs to follow. So. If you want to keep track of the record at home, that's a big, that's a huge spare for Jimbo. And they're going to need... Jimbo Ayod is a 121 league bowler from Lemston, New Hampshire. And as we did yesterday, he had a 231 two-stringer, 119 and 112. Bowling next is Jay Simino for Fenway. Jay Simino is a 113 league bowler out of Merrimack, New Hampshire. He had a 205 yesterday. His first ball is right in the pocket, rewarded with a split, two and one. He's got the five, the eight and the 10. Piece of wood way off the front. Jay, second ball, he's playing the wood. That was his best chance at the spare, probably. It'll be open in the first. With an eight. Brian Crowell is in the fourth spot and Tim Jalbert will be in the cleanup position to start for Fenway. Changes are allowed through the, up until the beginning of the sixth string as long as you don't make a mark in the fifth. Jay's first ball in the second is in the pocket. He drops a four and seven in the corner. Hello, if you just join us, we have Fenway Academy bowling against a dummy score of 555. Ten, sir. ten ball. Ten bucks. My apologies. One mark on the board for Jimbo Ayat. And here comes Brian. Still has the uh, high single for the tournament, a 183 from Tuesday. of Crowl Bowl and Stowe, nine drop, down to the two. The dummies would be in third place if they were an actual team. They will not make the playoffs. Several people have asked the question. They're in third right now? They would be in, they would have been in third to start the day. We have the score. The scoring system just went down over on lanes 33 through 36. The dummies came in third last year too after the team competition. 555 is pretty high, but 
There, there are there are nine teams that, that, whose average is higher than 555. But when you're playing against against that score without any any competition to your left or your right, it can be very obviously uh, disconcerting. The dummy team's still looking for their prize money. Nine drop again. Brian Kroll out of Stowe, Massachusetts, a 120 league bowler. Right. And the scoring system lost his first box, which was a spare. So uh, that's a 19 in the first box. We're going to have to do something about the scoring. It, the, the system was down and lost his first box. You might have to keep track by uh, the old fashioned way. Up. Just off. It'll be open in the second. He's mad at himself. He should have had that one, he's saying. Target is 3.1 3 inches across. From 60 feet away. Their family owned the old Kroll Bowl and still a for years. Yep. That's where uh, Det Klein worked. Number four bowler. Number, number five bowler. Here's the anchor man, Tim Jalbert. From Haverhill, he's got a 125 league average. That's my current hometown, Haverhill, Mass. Just a miss. Fenway is averaging 577 per game throughout the tournament. Of course, the dummies are going to put up 110 for every uh, every set through two. They're going, to, they're going to try to fix that scoring error because that's going to be bothering us all day if, if we can't get that adjusted at the score. Alexi uh, Bulos back there working on adding it. There it is. That was a 28 for Brian. It's now reflected on the score cam. It's a little bit blurry, but uh, you can see it. Eighty-six through the first four bowlers with a ball. Like I said, the dummies will put up a one ten. Really a one eleven. So our second three final matches for team competition. Playoffs start later on today. Jalbert is open with an. Hit the foul button on that one, and that'll be a seven. And I believe they were the runner-up two years ago in the, in the World's Memory Academy was. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Second string, you'll have all you have to say. If you want to fix the graphics, we'll help you. be helpful. Tim's first ball in the second. Right across the pocket, drops nine to the four pin. Looking for the third spare for Fenway in the first set. Wide right. Hey, that's a 10 and a score of 98 Two for, miss, uh, for Fenway. Two missed single pins there. Nine drops. 28% of single pins are missed by professional bowlers. You saw two of them right there, and one of them was made. Here's Jason Doucette. Now on your left, through the middle, he's got a two and two. A little bit of wood to help on the right. He's sending it. He got it. He shook it and it fell. That's right. That's a spare. And that's what they needed. Dummies with a 13 pin lead early on. Ball 
start. Phil Ball coming up next for Jason. Does his bowling out of uh, Millis in the Wednesday Night League. He grabs four, so he beat the dummy there by three, but uh, not what he was looking for. Right side is gone. Four horsemen plus two. He shook it, he got it! Two spares for Jason Doucette. Takes a bite out of that lead. His team was down by 13 after the first pair. He's at 42 and a ball after four. Jimbo Ayat, he's working on a spare on lane 35 next. Across the pocket, seven in the fill. 24 through, through two. Jimbo working on the eagle wing now. Right on the money. Two in a row for Jimbo. Bob Lee and Paul Grant coming to you live on Bowling Nerd Network. Match 15 of 16 from the U.S. Invitational in Lita Lanes. Jim Boy out in the bonus now. Comes in across. Leaves a four and one. 39 through three now. Picked up another four from the dummy team. And he'll be open in the fourth after two spares in a row. This is third ball. Good job for a nine. He's at 48. His dummy opponent is at 44. Jay Simino now up on lane 35 at 18 through two. Thirteen league average out of Merrimack, New Hampshire. Jay was bowling lead off yesterday on these lanes. Right in the pocket, all oh, fall down. Five left on the deck, five in the pit. None standing for Jay. Big strike, his first mark in the third. He's at 28, plus these next two. Eight on the first ball, he's got a very makeable pair with wood in the back. Still in the bonus, Jay. Takes aim at the three pin and he's got it. Spare on strike for Simino and that will reverse the lead. We'll put the score up on the graphic after four boxes. Brian Crawl is next. He spared to start things off. Simino at 48 now on a ball after four. And of course his dummy opponent has 44. Brian fires from the left side and drops down eight. The five and eight fell late, leaving, leaving them at two pinner, the four and seven. Holds the ball up, 
by his right ear. Wide left. The 183 earlier this week, team competition. He'll take nine. That's two nines in a row after his 18 box in the first. First ball in the fourth coming up next for Crawl. Right in the pocket, crossed over. Looking at the at the four seven again. This time he's got a got wood covering a little a little out front. Oh, and that wow. wood did him in. Any luck, he would have had three more. Could have had four in a row actually. That'll be a ten. 202 the total. Through, through four bowlers here in the fourth box. Lions at 47 now through four. Anchor bowler, Tim, Tim Jalbert up. He, he started with a 17 in the first two. Has to get his team score up to 220, 222. Keep pace with the dummies. Two fill balls coming up though. Nine drop to the seven. Woods going out of play. Single pinner. He's got it. Big spare. You can see the relief. Those dummies are relentless. Putting up those those elevens. <laughs> you know you gotta make a spare to keep up. At least every other box. 27 every third box. Probably every third box if we did the average. The average pro fill is about 6.5 on a spare. He's got 27 the ball now, block through three. Team scores up to 212, but two balls coming. There's Good pocket shot, but uh, I've watched that one on super slow mo, and uh, there's a there's a little spot with it right next to where the strikes always happen, about a 60 degree angle on the head pin, where the ball just slides between the the eight pin and the nine pin, leaves that, that nasty three and one off of what you feel like was your best ball. He's open, six in the fill, of course. And he'll take a nine. He'll take a nine. 42 through four now. 227 the score for Fenway Academy after two. The dummies, of course, at 222, so they have a five pin lead. Lead off bowler Jason Dew set. Cross is over. Wants that two and one is gonna hold. Looked like the four pin would fall for a minute. Seven still gives him 49 through four. Missed it. 6 10 on the right, four pin on the left. Third ball, it's one eight box, 56 through five. All right, so he just gave three away to the dummy after, after, taking, after taking six with that fill ball. 57 through five, that's score. Doucette with his first ball here in the sixth. Crosses over again, another two and one. This one, fronted by the three pin, has a little bit of an angle on the four pin near the corner. Grabs two. Messenger back behind the four. He'll 
will be open with a nine. 66 after six frames for Doucette. His dummy opponent also with a 66. He's holding even. You need a spare one every, every box to keep pace. And then the anchor bowler gets a spare two, I guess. There's a tenth of a big difference. It's an 11.1. 556 is the magic number to win the string. Jimbo now looking at the one, three, nine, and ten. He's got it! Huge spare for Jimbo. In the fifth. 58 in the ball now, that's fair. Phil Ball coming up next. Off on the two pin, but he's getting a generous mix. Four seven with two dancing that will stand still. Justin Scali throwing a strike ball over on lane 34 to our left. Seven in the fill, though. Jimbo plays the wood, pushes it back into the curtain. He'll be open in the sixth. He's beating his dummy opponent. Even with that eight, he's at 73. Dummy at 66, of course. Jay Semino next from Merrimack. He's in the bonus. Spare in the fourth. Fenway holding on to a slim lead here. Nine fills huge. Simino. He's looking at a single pinner. Wood is out of play. There it is. Fenway back. Three in a row now. Strike two spares. Adding to their lead, it, I think I think it's about about 15. We'll know in a minute. But the dummies are going to have. 3.30 after six, and they're already up to 2.95, plus two balls. 67 in the ball coming up here. Three five. In the bonus, half Worcester, two. 69 through five now. Dummy only got an 11, but he, he, he beats him with the 12. Through the hole again. Big ball coming up, facing eight pins. Third ball for Simino. Right on his head pin. He'll take eight as the seven falls late. 77, so two. Two of the first three bowlers are beating their dummies. Simino is up 11. Jimbo has a uh, seven pin lead. And Jason Doucette is tied with his dummy opponent. Here's Brian Crawl. He started with a, with a spare nine. He's got a three pin lead over his dummy opponent. Three on the left. Brian told me that the good bowlers make adjustments faster when they're when something is wrong with their timing and their release. Let's see if he can do it here. I'd say he did. The ball just missed kicking kicking left into the uh, into the corner, and that's what he's facing with his third ball for a nine. 
56 now through, through five. His dummy, of course, at 55. First ball in the sixth now. For Prowl, off to the right. He's got parallel pins here. The one, the two, the five, and the eight behind them. A little bit of wood to help on the left side and in the back. Good chance this will go. Maybe it's the pocket. Nope. Still the one and the five. Another nine. 65 through six for Brian Kroll. The ageless wonder. Tim Jaldrick Jaldr out of Averill. Open in, no longer open with a strike ball in the fifth. That was a hammer. 52 now, plus the two balls coming up here. Jalbert taunting his dummy opponent. Well, of course, we'll have 55 after five. Oh, two in the first, but he's got two. Went down Route 28. Grabbed his head pin. Left, uh, left the four and ten. And he'll take eight in the sixth. I'm going to hand the mic over for the final, the final two to uh, Paul Grant, and I'm going to keep keep the graphics live. Tim Jalba now at 68, Bob through six. Team total now is two. Is that total three? 349. 19-pin lead. We'll give him 333. So, because so, uh, their score is going to be 555, we'll give him a 333 and call it a 16-pin lead after six. Top of the order here, Jason Doucette out of Milford, Mass., 113 league bowler. On lane 35, this is a U.S. Invitational. Punches a quarter Worcester out. U.S. Invitational from Lee to Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. Grateful you're joining us. Tell your friends about Camelton Bowling. Spread the sport. Holiday gift cards. Support your local Canopin Alley. Canopin Bowl and the gift of giving. Six box, 72 through seven for Jason Doucette for Milford Ness. This is our second, our first uh, string of two. We have one more match after this, and the playoffs begin. Eighth box, first string, has the Caleri. This is the one, two, four, seven, and the nine pin in the back. This one goes at 20%. It's three of the five. He's up the one and the nine pin. At eight box 80 through eight. Another three for the dummies. Lead is down to eight. Jimbo A.R. coming up. All the bowlers for Fenway were open in the sixth, so they gotta, they gotta get moving again. Jimbo had a 73 in his first six boxes. 121 league bowler. 
Adds a nice shot for a strike. No doubt about that one. 83 plus two through seven for Jimbo AI. Fenway again, 62 and 28 coming into this match. I took four earlier out of six. They're currently in third place, four points out of second coming into this match. 17 teams competing for 10 playoff spots. Top two get a bye and won't play till tomorrow. On the strike. Solid leave. Two, four, seven. Great piece of wood. Jimbo looking for two in a row. Leads up to 14 through this ball. And he has it. Spear on strike. 93 through seven. 103 in a ball through eight. 556 is the magic number to beat the dummies. Jay Simino now coming up, third bowler for Fenway Academy. He had 77 in this first six. Merrimack, New Hampshire, 113 league average. People forget there's a Merrimack Mass without the K. Uh, 495. Soccer restaurant, really great crab rangoons there. Great Asian food. The soccer in Merrimack. Yes. For a spare, good try. He's up to four and seven. One ball to go. Seven blocks first string. One more to go after this. That's nine. 86 through seven. For Jay Simino. Dummies pick up two there. Lead is now 15 in the ball for Fenway. They really want to sweep here to try to get close to that second spot, get that by. Spread Eagle to start the eighth box of the first string. Do you have a steady bob and percentage of spread eagles picked up? One percent. Point nine nine now. Pro average, pro average box every time they get a spread eagle, including those those few spares, is eight point three. Third ball, the eighth box. Gets one six ninety two through eight. And the dummies pick up five. 408 current. Fenway Academy up 10 plus a ball. 408 for them officially. Brian Kroll. Sixty-five to his first six. Some missed opportunities in this second and third watch. That's spare nine to start. On the head pin with the diamond leave right now. Eight pin in the back, five pin in the middle, in the back. You have the two and four on the left. Scoreboard goes out again. Must be a loose connection there. He gets the spare. That, nice one shot. Is, that one is just a 27 percenter. So we're, we're probably not going to see that one on the scoreboard because of... So that should give him 76 in the ball, I believe. Here it goes. Well, his score is not reflected up there. He's 75. 75 in the ball through seven. On the spare. Oh, hooked it to the right. I got three. Unusual shot for him on a spare. Three fill. And showing 92, it should be. That's wrong. And the scoreboard's malfunctioning again. His score is off there. 
lead is now 12 and a ball. That's correct, actually. It's updated now. So the scoreboard does not reflect the spare. That's right. I just told him, but if you, you can help him. You can help him. I, I told him what happened. Okay, so we'll have to get the official scoring here in just a minute. With that six, though, the dummies pick up uh, five, and the lead is now seven and a ball for Fenway Academy. Of course, the dummies are going to have 333. They're going to have 444 after eight. Do you, know what the, do you know what the adjusted score is there, Bob? They're, they're making the adjustment right now. Jeremy from, from uh, Academy is working on it. But uh, he's, getting, he's, he's got to fix that score. You're watching the U.S. Invitational? The Super Bowl of Canlipin Bowling here at Lita Lanes in National New Hampshire. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. Both, both, both times the scoreboard went out. Uh, Brian was was making a spare, so <laughs> we saw it. It's on film. First of two strings, our second of three matches in the team competition. There's your correction. You see the score is up to 427. Of course, the, du the dummies are going to have 444 after after the eighth box. So Brian Kroll's at 84 after eight. And the anchor bowler up now, Tim Jalbert from Haverhill, Mass, 125 league bowler. Open here in the seventh, 68 after six coming in. Leads up the one and two, 610 on the right side. He's got work to do, the dummy just got an 11. Six box. Picks up another five. 74 up to seven. Has a dummy ever gotten a double strike before, Bob? No. <laughs> I can't believe it. Actually, they have no, their, their, their average of 11.1, 11, 11 with a, a standard deviation of zero. I, I just had to ask rhetorically. 74 through seven now for Tim Jalbert. Eighth box, first string on lane 35. At Lita Lanes in, in Nashua. 7-10 split, piece of wood. See if he can give it a ride. Of course, the dummy always gets a 12 for one of their boxes. So it actually don't. 555 means they, they get 11.1. But we can't add 11.1 to each score. So we have to add one at the end. And we just we can add it here in the, uh, in the eighth. It's like 365 and a quarter days a year. Critically, the score is 442, and the dummies are at 444. So it's a that means there is a two two pin lead for the dummies. Nine One box, ball coming for Fenway. Nine box kids at 83 for Tim Jabba through eight. Second bowler will have that spare Jimbo Ayot. But first is Jason Doucette for Milford Mass. The 113 league bowler. Final two boxes of the first string of two here at Nashua. Good ball, nine drop, six pin remaining. This would put pressure on the dummy team. Yeah, they don't feel it though. They just keep getting 11. They're not in touch with their emotions. And he gets it, 90 and a ball after that spare through nine. Big I'm, shot. I'm definitely rooting for the humans here. <laughs> I don't know about you. I can't stand to see the dummies win. Us men get criticized for not being in touch with our emotions. What about the dummy team? Final box, working on a spare, going into the 10th. 452. 556, the magic number to win by one over the, over the dummies. On the spare. Nine. Kingpin won't budge. Picked up eight pins there. 99 through nine. Just like in the head pin, the five. Uses the wood to get oh, yeah. it. He stole that one. I'm sure that was a strategy. 
counting the wood, <laughs> you know, when, when there is wood, the pro average is 78 percent versus 72 percent when there's no when there, you know, for all spares. 78 percent includes wood and no wood. He's at 109 now on a ball going to this 10th box. In the 10th box, best he can do is 119. If you can strike it out. Good ball, gets five, 114 first string for Jason Doucette. And the lead is up to 10, plus a ball for Fenway Academy. Need 130 pins more in the last four bowlers to get the win. And here comes the spare they're working on, the only spare or mark they're working on here. Here's Jimbo Ayotte, the 121 league bowler. This is the bonus ball. He had a strike and a spare. 103 and a ball. Off the head, Tim, but gets six. We've seen the shot made twice yesterday with Wood. 109, that should be 109, right? Yeah, show 108 or 109. Missed the head pin, though. That might, might be off by one, possibly. The showing got five in the spare. He got six on it. Should be a 109. We'll confirm in just a minute. 10 box, unofficially 118. I believe it's 119. It is confirmed. Yeah. The scoring system did not pick up that six. The six, okay. is, the six is on the official tally being kept at the front table. All right, so he's at 119 after nine. 192 team total. 10 box now. That's the half Worcester and the seven. That's the two and the eight. In front, behind. He's the boy to help. Missed the object pin. He's up to 127. He gets this 128 for the string. Solid string from Jimbo. For the 10, gets it. 128. Good news is he made that shot. Bad news is the dummies got 11, so they picked up a pin. But they have 501, so they just need 55 out of six boxes. So they don't necessarily have to get a mark to win, but they want to distance themselves and get a sizable lead going into the second string. One mark, one mark will do it for sure. But you want to build a cushion. Jay Simino, two full. Three, six, ten on the right, two, four, seven on the left, eight pin behind the two pin. He's at 92 after eight. Punch is only one, the six pin. You probably realistically need one mark to put it away in the first string. And he missed it all. Now they will, yes. Yeah, but they definitely will need a mark now. That's a four, a four box. Dummies pick up seven, lead is five. 96 through nine for Jay Simino. 10 box, first of two strings here at the U.S. Invitational at Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. Off to the left, has the Caleri. Trying to re redeem himself after that tough four box. This would be for a spare. Off the head pin, won't roll back. Head pin still standing. This is for a 10. Missed it, 105 for Jay Simino in the first string. 514 team total, magic number is 42 to win the string. So they need at least one mark to beat the dummy team. Fenway is, Fenway is up three, but it, like, like you said, the, the dummies keep getting those 11, so you're gonna need to have a mark to keep up. I still feel the dummy team is a, is a mental, sometimes letdown for teams. Rip Kimowski told me he never liked bowling by himself. He, he feels like it, 
He does better when there's competition next to you. He has the Caleri, ninth box. He had 84 in his first eight. Spare nine to start it off, but no marks since then. This is for a spare. Chopped out the three pin. Ryan's a 120 bowler. Benway, of course, fighting for that buy, buy slot. They're in third place, two out right now. And that's, the dummies are gonna pick up five right there. I thought it was four out. It's two out now? Six box, 90 through nine. I thought there were four out. Box, first of two strings here. That lead of Wayne's in Nashua. Flying, head pin, solid hit. Splits it though. Has a two pin on the left, has a six pin on the right with a piece of wood. See if he can use that to his advantage here. They need a spare here or Tim Jell with the ankle will have to get at least one. Flying it to keep the pressure off Tim. Go. Give it, give it a good try. He's a ten for a hundred. Does a rare one hundred. Flying full. Five thirty. They'll need twenty six to win the string. Critical two boxes for the anchor man, Tim Jalbert. 83 through 8 coming in, open here. Needs at least one with a six fill. He gets 20, 25 for the tie. Yep. Good hit there. Great opportunity. Five eight pin, piece of wood in the middle. Needs to convert this one. But we need to get at least six and a 10 to win. For the spare, he missed it. They'll have to get one of the 10 blocks or they'll lose to the dummy team. Dummy team is causing, causing havoc again this year. 10 box, 92, 93 through 9, 540, 16 is the magic number to win. Must mark, spare or strike with a six to win. Five to 15 to tie. They missed a lot of opportunities, single pins and spare opportunities early. There's a nice ball there, he's got the triangle. Five pin. With that, has a three and six on the right, no wood. Worth playing. Has to get this spare to have a chance to win. Can he pick it up? He missed it and they're gonna lose to the dummy team. He's mad at himself. Upset here, this string, eight box, 101 for Tim Jalbert. The dummy team prevails yet again, 555 to 548. Fenway loses by seven. Tim is angry with himself. There was a scoring error, I guess, so it's a 549. 549, I know, so six pins. Six pin, six pin win. So, one more string to regroup. They'll have to win by seven now. We'll need 563 to win the total and get four out of six. Dummy team is not is not an easy easy uh, easy to play against. And we'll get ready for our second string here at the U.S. Invitational in Nashua. No line of changes. Any line of, any line of changes? All right, Danny Allen will be filling in. We'll find out in a minute here. Off to our left here on 34. Kai Hunt with a strike. Kai Hunt, an excellent young bowler. Main 120 league average.
I believe he's 20 or 21, Kai Hunt. Very young. Outstanding bowler. Six in the first ball for Jason Doucette. Brian's out. Jenny Allard. Okay, lineup changes will announce in a minute. Nine box there for Jason Doucette after one in the, in the second string. So the second bowler will be Danny Allard in just a minute, filling in. Jimbo, Jimbo Ayotte will go to the fourth spot, taking Brian Kroll's place. Second box, second string, Jason Doucette. A 113 bowler from Milford, Mass. Had a 114 in the first. Second box of the second string here on 35 from Lita Lanes in Nashua at the U.S. Invitational. Again, 17 teams vying for 10 playoff spots. We'll start later today after the third match. This is the second of three in Nashua. Solid leave here for a spare, the six and 10, piece of wood. This is a bunny. He's got it, 19 in the ball for Jason Doucette. Voice feels great now, Bob. Bob, help help me out in relief here. Bob's trying to fix the scoring system here with the computer for the audience. And he is filling in for his filling in for Brian Kroll in a sense. Danny Allard in the two spot as Kimball goes from the second spot to the fourth spot. This is for a spare. I missed it. Tough shot, the eight pin in the back. That's the two and seven. And eight box to start eight for Danny Allard. You know Danny's average? Where, where Danny's average? Where he okay. They're at 27 right now so far after two and a half boxes, two, three boxes. Okay, second box, second string. Splits five. Two, four, seven left. Six, ten on the right. Second ball, second box. Punches out the fourth thing. Third ball. It's eight. Pair of eight, 16 after two for Danny Allard. Here comes Jay, Jay Simino, 105 in the first string. Again, a 113 bowler from Merrimack, New Hampshire. His first ball in his first box in the second string. Nice hit, eight down. 4-7, piece of wood. This is a bunny shot. I'm sure this is a 95 or 99% conversion, Bob, in these. Not at all. No, it's, even with wood, I, I haven't done the study, but... Uh, Whatever it is, that'll increase it. It's a surprising number of misses on that. I, yeah. Maybe 93. Yeah. 10, bar, 10, 10 on the ball to start, the second string. For Jay Simino, for Fenway Academy. You have to clear that wood in the gutter before we start. The spare fill. Fenway Academy trying so hard to get that second spot for a bye. But it got ousted in the first by the dummy team. By six. Like Bob said, 11 pins is where the dummy gets on an average box. Which is a 555 for the string. So 556 is the magic number to win the string. We'll need 562 to take the total and get four out of six. To stay in the running for that second buy spot. Six on the fill, piece of wood. Six, uh, 16 after one now. He's 
give the advice how to play this. Got wood in front, wood in the back. Let's see how he plays this here. This is for a spare. Couldn't get the ball to go to the seven pin. This is for a 10, he's got it. 26 after two for Jay Simino. And Jimbo Ayotte switching from the second spot to the fourth spot this string. Jimbo had a 128, a high bowler for Fenway Academy in the first. And he starts off here in the first box of the second string of this two string match. From Lita Lanes in Nashua. Good ball, solid hit. Looks easy. Get that wood in the back. Cooperates. Going for a spare. He's got it. Ten in the ball after one. Team's at 71 right now. Working on two spares. One here coming up for Jimbo Ayotte. Need six pins to draw even with the dummy score. Fenway's a third seed right now out of 10 playoffs teams, potentially. Seven. Half Worcester right. 10 pin on the right. 17 after one. A low percentage shot here for a spare. See if he can pull it off. Give it a try. Punched out the top pin. And nine and 10 is an even more difficult shot with no wood. Try to get at least one, does. 26 through two for Jimbo Ayotte. 87 for the team right now with one spare in hand. Anchor bowler Tim Jalbert coming up. Off his game in the first string with a 101. 125 league average from Haverhill, Mass. His first box in the second string. Solid hit there for him. Excellent piece of wood. A bunny shot here. 6-10 on the right. Oh, didn't go. Too far left in the wood. And there's one of your percentages we were talking about. Well, yeah, the wood, wood is wood. There's so Ten many box. different ways that the wood will react. 10 through 1. Tim Jalbert. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee at the U.S. Invitational. He needs 13 in this box to keep, to keep base with the dummies. Tim Jalbert, second box, second string. There's a good comebacker. Head pin goes. Two pin, seven pin. Piece of wood. Might get in the way. Could use a spare. Can he pick it up? He does. No. Thought it went. Obstructed view here. Good try. Nine box, 19 through two for the anchorman, Tim Jalbert, for Fenway Academy. They're at 106. Dummy's got a 12. So that's right. Down six in the string, 12 in the match for the dummies. But here's a spare fill coming up for the top, top, uh, top of the order here. Jason Doucette had a 114 in this first string with the 113 league average for, Mil for Milford Bass. One more match to go. The team competition later on. We start the playoffs today and it ends tomorrow here at Lee Lanes in Nashua, starting at 9 a.m. We'll be with you all the way. Nice ball on the fill. Nine, huge fill. 28 through two. It's consulting on a play this. The 
This is for a second spear in a row. Got it. Went to the left instead. 38 in the ball. Through three. 125 plus the ball for Fenway Academy. Fenway now has the lead by four. And are they two out of four out coming in? They said they were four out to me. Are they two out of four out coming in? They told me they were four out after the first match. Price is good flooring, won four. Fenway won four in the last, in the, in the last game, so uh, it is four. It is four. Okay, that's what we're told. All right. So they are four in the second place. We'll try to get an update, see how Price is what is doing, if we can, in their first string. No, no Rover reporters here, though. They're about eight, eight alleys over. Five on the fill, though. It's 43 after three for another one. No. Has the two pin on the left, six ten on the right. You go for the short two here, which he does, and gets nine. 52, solid start through four for Jason Doucette for Fenway Academy. 139, team score. Second bowler here, Danny Allard coming off the bench. Taking over for Brian Kroll. Jimbo Aya in the second spot last string is in the fourth spot this string. Has the one, three, ten, and the seven in the corner, left corner. For be a spare. Get what a it. shot what with a no shot. wood. We saw that a couple of times yesterday with wood. This is the first time we've seen it with wood for a spare. Sensational shot, 26 in the ball through three for Danny Allen for Fenway Academy. 149 plus a ball. All of the bowlers are open right now for Fenway. On the spare fill, punched through, too accurate. Spread eagle, four fill, 30 through three. No gain down the dummy. Nine, a nine pin lead. Three and, three and three, puts it over, got four, good try. Ten, 40 through four. 163 team, 163 team total. Jay Simino coming up. He had a spare six and a 10 to start the string, 26 through two, after his 105 first string. His third box, the second string of this two string match. Off to the left. That's four, make it five, four horsemen right, one of pin seven on the left. One, three, six, ten on four horsemen. Good shot. He's up to seven, ten. In the gutter, it'll be an eight box. 34 through three for Simino. 171 team total. They need 562 to take four. They lost the first by six to the dummies. 556 to win the string, 562 to win the match. Good ball there. Chance for a spare. Not a gimme. Makeable. Eight pin in the back, six pin to the right. Has some wood to use if he wants to. He's going at the pins, gets it. Nice shot. Jay Simino, 44 on a ball after four, 181 for Fenway Academy. Fourth bowler here. Jimbo A on the two spot, the first with a 128, now in the fourth spot. Been fun all week. Playoff atmosphere here. Great sportsmanship in the bowlers. He had 26 in his first two, a spare seven and a nine. 26 through two. Gets three in his first ball. Open here in the third.
The spare. Can it come back? Not quite. Good try. Left up the two pin. That'll be a 10, 36, 36 through three for Jimbo. 191 for the team. Hopefully on the way to 562 plus. Second string here from Nashua. Lita Lanes at the U.S. Invitational. Head pin hit, gets seven. Good wood to help out. Five pin to the right. In front is the two pin to the left. In the far corner, the seven pin. For a spare. Got it. Got it. 46 in the ball through four. For Jimbo AI. 201 for the team. They're working on two bonus balls, both spares coming up. The third and fourth bowlers. Anchorman Tim Jalbert up now. From Haverhill, Mass. 125 league bowler. Had a 101 in the first. Had a 10 to 9 to start the second. 19 through 2. Trying to get on track. That's a split. Three and six in the right. Four pin left side. Second ball. Missed everything. Third ball. Gets one for an eight. 27. He has a 10, 9, and 8. 27 through 3 for Tim Jalbert. 209 for the team so far with two spares in hand. Dummies have a one pin lead and they get a 12 in the front in the uh, for their fifth dummy. First ball, fourth box, second string has a split with a piece of wood, has the four pin on the left with the wood, 10 pin corner right. Pull it over, not quite, good try. Bob Lee, I want to thank you for doing all the setup and uh, helping me out with the technology and giving the opportunity to announce the dream come true for me. Uh, 10 blocks, 37 through four, it's been an awesome time. Four days now running, one more day to go. It's been a treat and we've seen some sensational bowling by all the bowlers. Bowlers are going to switch sides now. It's a three pin lead for the dummy, but two balls coming up for Fenway Academy. 219 team total for Fenway through four. Open box coming up here for Jason Doucette. 52 through his first four. He had two spares in his second and third box. Nine spare nine, spare five and nine. 52 through four. On lane 35, fifth box, second string, first ball. One, three, six, eight pin back on the left side. What is really useless here. Second ball, trying for a spare. Good shot, but go over, no. That was close. Four of 10, missed it. Nine box, 61 through five, 228 for the team. Halfway to the 556 mark, well, not quite. And 50 pins away from the halfway point. Good hit here, looking for a strike, no, but it has the six pin standing. They're down in the match right now, and in the string, but this will help a lot. They do have two spares in the hand though. This would help, missed it though.
Gets it on the third try, 10 bucks, 71. He gets 19 of those two boxes. 238 now for Fenway Academy. Danny Allen coming up here, 40 through four. Coming in in the second string. Good hit for a strike. Yes. Nice shot by Danny Allard. 44. Plus two here after four. He had a spare six in his first with a 10 and an eight. Now a strike in the fourth. 248 for the team. They're on a strike and two spares. On the strike. Look at two in a row. Eight. Four, seven. Left side. Piece of wood. Two pieces of wood. This would be very helpful if he could make this one. Can he get it? Does. Spare on strike. 60 through five. Now 70 through six with a spare. Three spares now. In hand for Fenway Academy. They're up to 268 as a team. Needing 562 for the match to win four. I have Fenway up by uh, by two pins plus three balls now. Bonus ball coming up next. Up by two? Yep. But they have three bonus balls coming. He has a nine drop on the first ball on that spare. Huge fill. 53 now. Through four. So, so make it an 11 pin lead. Oh no! Missed it. Ouch. Simon, I'll try and get that. 10 bucks for Jay. 63 to 5. 287 for the team. Six blocks now. Second and final string, this two string match. One more to go after this. Fenway Academy in the third spot right now. Out of 10 teams making the playoffs, 17 teams competing. Top two get a buy. If they can get the first one or two spots, they'll get the rest of the night off play tomorrow. We're spare. Missed it. That would have been three in a row. Nope, that would have been, that, not it, that wasn't him. They have one mark before that. And he got a 10, and now another 10. 73 through six. Jenny Allen had two in a row. They're at 297 now. Spare coming up here for Jimbo Ayotte in the fourth spot. On the fill. Seven and eight. 54 now through four for Jimbo Ayotte. Two pin, five pin. For another one. Got it. Two in a row. 64 in a ball through five. 315 now for Fenway. And it's time to feel it now. I have the lead at 17 for Fenway now against the dummies. They're starting to feel the four points. But they can't take their Not foot up the gas. Not at all. They Dummies don't, are not phased. Nope. But Fenway's getting a, a good groove. This you, lose a, you lose a pin every time you get a 10. You get a 9, you lose 2. If you, you get one of those 6s, that's a 5-pin swing. Fenway's starting to get some good shots from good fills and spares. They'll get more confidence here. That was a bonus ball, though, for 4 more. 68 now through 5 for Ayotte.
Bonstead skipped it away in the hole. Need a big out here. You want to get at least four if you can. One, two, four, and the eight in the back, six, ten on the right. Got five. 77 after that nine box, 77 through six. 328 for the team. Need 562 to take the total and get four out of six points. Be in the hunt for that second playoff spot. Bob, well, how, far, how far are they out of first, do you know? The team in first place? Uh, Lucky Strike has clinched a, a bye. Okay. Nice ball there, gets eight. Has the four pin and the eight pin behind. So Fenway, Fenway anyway, cannot reach Lucky Strike. There it is, a spare, nice shot. 47 in the ball. Through five. First mark of the string. This might hopefully jumpstart Jim, Tim Jalber rather. He um, had a tough 101, the first string, a 125 bowler out of Haverhill, Mass. 10, 9, 8, and 10, and now a spare on the fifth. 47 plus. Missed the head pin, but gets the benefit. Back to action, seven. Probably better off standing, but seven, Phil. 54 now through five for Tim. Got the one, four, and the 10 on the right. Can he pick it up? Ooh, good try. Only the head pin, though. Try to get at least one of these. We'll go for the four pin. Got that one, nine, 63 through six, 354 for the team. All right, the, dummy, the dummies are at uh, 330, so that's a 24 pin, 333, so that, we're gonna give the dummies their extra. It's a 21 pin difference, 354 to 333 as we, as we switch sides. So that'd be 15 the match. Lead for Fenway. Back to the top of the order, Jason Doucette. The Milford Mass man with a 113 league average, had a 114 in the first, 71 through six here in the sixth, through six in the seventh box. Open here. It's a good hit for missing the head pin. Has the one and three, seven pin in the corner with Wood. For a spare, two pull in the head pin. And that's a nine, 80 through seven for Jason Doucette. 363 now for Fenway Academy in the string. Up 13 in the match, I believe now. 14 in the match. Maybe 13. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute here. What was that? Was Five, that nine, it's the lead is 19. 19, the string. 13 up in the match. Head pin hit. Only got four. Has some wood there. He can move this around. Get to that corner 10. Two, four, seven, five in the middle, in the back. And then the eighth pin. Back left, 10 pin in the corner. Can you pick it up? Oh, he does! The ball came out of the gutter! Off the wall, got the seven pin. What a spare that was. 90, plus the ball through eight for Jason Doucette for Fenway Academy. 373 team total. You're also working on two spares. One here for Danny Allard. Coming in here in the second string off the bench. Four Phil. 74 through six. Brian Kroll started in the fourth spot. Basically filling it for him. In the second, Jimbo switched from second to fourth in the string. And a nice oh! shot for 10. 
84 now through seven. Nice shot there by Danny Allard. 387 for a team for Fenway Academy. Nice bounce off both the right and the left wall before that. This is like the kingpin fell there. Might have been, might have been the uh, nine back there. Eighth box, second string. Could be a strike. Oh, would hit it, but didn't quite go. The pin was startled, but it held its ground. Four pin here for a spare. Can he get it? No, to the right. Now he gets it for a 10, 94 to eight. Pro balls are upset with themselves, they missed that. Yeah, Can't but you put the lead over 30. Over 30, we have it uh, 31 for the moment. 94 through eight. Dummies will have a 444 after the, uh, after the eighth box. Fenway well on their way. 397 team total. Head pin hit here for Jay Simino, the third bowler for Fenway Academy. Has the three and six on the right, the four pin on the left, no wood. We kick this over. This could be for a spare, close to the right, clips one. He had 73 in his first six. Trying to get at least one here. Two for a bonus. Nine blocks, 92, 82, 82. 82 through seven, 406 for the team of Fenway Academy. Jay had a 105 in the first string. Again, a 113 league bowler for Merrimack, New Hampshire. On 36, eighth box has the four horsemen right, which is the one, three, six, and 10 pin left to right. He pick it up. No, got two. Six and ten remaining on the right. Open box here. The ten will come at 92 through eight. It's nine, 91 through eight for Jay Simino. 415 for Team Academy, Fenway Academy. The team has 414. Did you we do have a spare fill coming up. Uh, the lead up bowler, yeah. For yep. So I, I just put that, it's, it's 27 in a ball right now for Fenway. That'd be 21 in the match, they're up. I'm seeing the score is off by one on the. Okay, we'll check this up. Uh, the scores we give are unofficial. Yeah, that's Bob Lee's checking on that for us. That eight should be a nine. The, the eight that, that so they're, they're at 415. Yep. Right, so the plus score one. Keeping is... Okay, so eight drop here. The, the viewers at home, though, are, are, are looking at that scoreboard on the right. And that is a uh, 423 right now. Okay. 7 10 split with Wood here for a spare opportunity in the seventh box of the second string. Oh, won't go, will it? No, the Wood went in the gutter. On its way to the seven pin, but took a detour in the gutter. Aim for a 10 here now. He had 77 in his first six. This is for 87 through seven. He's got it. 87 through seven, 424 now. Team total for Fenway Academy. Trying to clinch one of the two remaining playoff spots. One's already been clinched. Academy, Academy lanes, clinch you said? Lucky strike. Lucky strike, in first lucky place. strike rather, sorry. Lucky strike clinch. They're in first place. Good hit here, nine drop, nine pin remaining, good piece of wood in the eighth box of the second and final string. One more match to go here after this in team competition. And then after that, we'll do playoffs starting today with the first two teams getting a bye. For the spare, he's on it. 97 and a ball through eight. Clutch spare for Jimbo.
two Ooh. balls, two bonus balls coming for Fenway. They've got a 25 pin lead in the match. Remember the dummies are going to get uh, 25. I, it's, it, I'm sorry, 23 in this uh, final box. They, Half wits to right to start the seventh box for Tim Jalbert from Haverhill, Mass. 125 league bowler had a 101 in his first. 63 after six, he finally got a mark in his fifth box. Had a seven fill in that one. Seventh box, he's open here though. 610 on the right with some wood. Seven pin on the left for a 10. Give it a ride. Got nine. 72 through 7, 443. Need 562 is the magic number to get four. 556 to win the string, 562. We have to add one though, right? So is that score? We have to add one to that so score. So 444 make it. 444 total. I'm sorry, what bowler is the one extra pin? Do you know? Nice uh, ball there. Number three slot there, the left, in the eighth okay. frame. So Jay Simino actually has a 91. Not 90. Hence the one point difference in the scoreboard. So add one to what you're seeing up there now. Dummies will have a 444. It leads up to seven now, plus whatever you can add to it. Two balls coming up though. So I've adjusted the score. Second ball. This would be for a spare. Can he pick it up? Give it a ride. High in the air. Wouldn't fall to the 10 pin. Excellent try though. Jalbert, 10 box, 82, 82 through 8. That's a 10 pin lead. But they've got two balls. 10, 10 <coughs> pin lead plus two balls. Five, 554 to 444 for the dummies. We'll switch sides. And one of the two spares on tap here is coming up. Jason Doucette. At a 114 in the first, he's at 90 in a ball through eight. Jimbo A off the fourth ball are also working on a spare at Fenway Academy. Second and final string of this two string match. One more to go after this. Then we start our playoff round, concluding tomorrow with the championship matches. Starting at 9 a.m. here at Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. At the U.S. Invitational, seven fill in that spare for Jason Doucette. 97 through eight has a spare leave. The one, the three, and the six. For two in a row, got it. 107 in the ball off that spare. Nice shot. That's going to help him with the match. 470 for the team. Two bonus balls. Here's one more here. 107. 107 on the ball for Jason on lane 35 here in Nashua. Paul Grant with Bob Lee. Thank you for joining us. Tell your friends about Caleb and Bowling. Get them involved this holiday season. Think Canopin gift cards. They're never out of stock. They're not stuck in a cargo ship in Los Angeles. They're available at your local Canopin bowling alley. Support your local Canopin lanes. Support the sport. Help its growth. Canopin bowling, the gift of giving this holiday season. Six in the spare fill. 113 through nine. Got the one, two, four, the nine pin in the back. Trying for three in a row here to wrap up the string. Good try! Oh, won't go. So close. A 10 box will give him 123 for the string. Out of 114 in the first. Gets a 9, 122, 236 for the two for Jason Doucette for Milford Mass. 485. 486 with a one pin error. 486. Unofficially, that's a 19 pin lead plus a ball. And that's in the match? In the game. All right, nine box here. Danny Allard 
open here, but he has 94 after eight coming in. Spare lead, one, two, and four pin standing. Got it. Hit the outside of the head pin, got it to go. 104 on the ball. After nine, 495 for Fenway Academy. Looking good for them for the match and four points right now. In 562 for a total to get four. Lost the first by six. Try that number two spot. Good fill. Eight. So far, unless it gets that 10 pin, will it go? No. 112 with that fill through nine. Up to 120 in the string. For a spare, hard to get. Got that four pin, 10 pin remains. He's at 121. 122 if he makes this. He doesn't, 121 for the string. First two bowlers, 122 for Jason Doucette. 121 here for Danny Allard. Coming on strong here in the second. 512 now. Taking 513 with the one point error in the scoreboard. 513 for Fenway Academy. Six boxes to go, looking really good for the total. Still have a spare to go. Open here though, is Jay Simino. Got a solid string, 90 through eight. Would love to get another mark. It's a 113 bowler, so we need one to get his personal average. Head pin gets six, four, seven left, six, ten right, piece of wood in the middle. Five fifty-six to win the string. 552 to take the total and four points out of six. This is for a spare, will slide over, it rolls. Missed it though, good try. Four, seven left, piece of wood. If he gets this 10, he'll be at an even 100. Wood's in better position here now. Third ball, gets to 10, 100 through nine, 523. 523 for the string. Five fifty-six to win the string. Five sixty-two to win the match. They're at five twenty-three with five boxes to go, plus a spare fill. Looking really good for them. Almost academic. Solid hit, head pin. Ten pin goes, leaving up the king pin. The five stands. This would put it away, for sure, the match. They'll win the string easily. Almost sure of the match already without this. This will definitely guarantee it. And he's got it. Spare in the 10th, 110 in the ball. To Jay Simino. Teams up to 533 now. 23 pins total they need. The string 29 for the match. It's a done deal here, pretty much. It'll take four out of six. Buying for that second spot in the playoff seating for a bye. Punches through, gets four, 114. A 105 and a 114 for Jay Simino, 219 for two. Fenway Academy's at 436. Four boxes to go, plus a spare fill here. Coming up for Jimbo AI. 97 the ball through eight. Twenty-six pins they need for the match for four points. In four boxes, plus a spare ball. I'd say it's a done deal, Bob. Only four on the only four on the fill. The last two fills for them are fours. 101 through eight. They're at 544 currently with these four down. For a spare bid, leads up to five. Up 
to 540, up to 550 now. 551 for the team. 10 box, 111 to 9. So with three boxes to go, no all open, they need just five to win the string and just 12 to win the total. Uh, 11 to win the total. Four horsemen left, the one, two, four, seven. They've won the string. Two points officially. And just a out of another box to get the match. Mr. Head pin, they're up to 560, so one pin will put them one away from the match with two boxes to go. There's a 10, 561 for the match, for the strength for the team, 121. For Jimbo A, audio to 128, a two string total of 249. One pin to win the match in two boxes. I don't think an anchor ball is capable of six gutter balls. One pin to take four points. Here it is. That clinches four for Fenway Academy after losing the first by six to the dummies. They've got the second string and the total. Three, six, 10 standing. Get 82 coming in here after eight. Nine box, 91 through nine, 570 now for the team score. A triple strike to get 600. Doesn't need anything now. They've won the string, they've won the match, they've gotten four out of six. Spare Worcester, uh, half Worcester left. That's the two and the eight, he knocked out. Second ball, final box, second string. Almost got it, left up the five pin. He's at 100 right now. Had a 101 of his first. Well below his standards of his 125 league average. And he matches it, a pair of 101s, 202 total. Fenway Academy comes on strong in the second half of the second string, 580 to win the match over the dummies. They win four out of six as they compete. They're trying to find out how the second place team did. Bob Lee's checking that right now. We'll have one more match coming up here in a few minutes here at Nashua at Lita Lanes at the U.S. Invitational. Huh? And Price is winning over on the... They win the first two? Looks like they're going to take, they may take six. And Price is flooring is the team in second place ahead of Fenway Academy. They may take six, we're told. So, they, might be a four, pin, four point lead with one we'll match see, to go. We'll see in a, in a few minutes whether they clinch. All right, so for now, we'll sign off. We'll let you know about that. We'll get an update in a little while. This is Paul Grant, Bob Lee. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back in just a little bit, five, ten minutes, with our third and final match of the regular team competition. And then stay tuned after that, because today, we start the playoffs as well here in Nashua.